I'm gonna take you through my top pro level tips that are gonna save you tons of time on your next smart mirror project. I'm gonna outline exactly what glass type you need, how to frame it, and how to add touch to your smart mirror. Hi, I'm Krista, gadget geek for twowaymirrors.com. Okay, let's get started. A smart mirror works by placing a semi-transparent mirror in front of a display. It's important to use the best mirror type in front of your display for the maximum clarity through the mirror. So you'll want to use a mirror specifically designed for smart mirror projects. You can use TVs, monitors, tablets, any display that you want. Here's how you can quickly frame your smart mirror. Use a shadow box frame, like this one. Check it out. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how it all fits together. First, you have your frame. The frame is what holds the glass and the touch screen in place. The shadow box is deep. So when you layer the mirror, the IR touch, and the display, it will be completely hidden from the side. If you're looking to save some time, you can purchase the frame directly from us. To get the right size, you'll want to measure your display. I recommend going with the overall size of the display, or if you're adding touch, measure the outer dimensions of your IR touch frame. That will be your mirror size. That way, everything fits nice and neat. Okay, let's dig deeper into this. People ask me all the time, does the mirror have to be the same size as the display? You can definitely go larger with your smart mirror, where the display only takes a small portion of that screen. Just remember, pro tip right now, if you do go larger, you want to make sure that you paint the back of that mirror black, everywhere except for where the screen is. This will make sure you get a nice mirror finish everywhere on your mirror. Next pro tip I have for you is choosing the right mirror for the project. You can't use just any old two-way mirror for this project. To achieve the best display quality coming through that mirror, you'll want either the smart mirror or the dielectric mirror. The smart mirror comes in glass and acrylic. Both offer great reflection and transparencies. In large sizes, such as 40 inches and up, I recommend going with the glass to ensure you have a nice, flat reflection. This is what the glass smart mirror looks like. The reflection looks just like a standard mirror and the text shows through nice and clear. If you plan to be displaying video or graphics, the dielectric mirror is a more transparent option. I recommend the dielectric mirror for flawless picture clarity. This is an example of a two-way mirror. The glass two-way mirror is 70% reflective and only 11% transparent. So that display quality, it just goes whoosh, right down the roof. You can barely see the text through the mirror. By the way, I've heard a ton of people messing up their projects using the two-way mirror film. Yeah, this one right here. The two-way mirror film is only 5% transparent. So it's blocking almost all the light through the mirror. AKA, your white text with that black background is going to disappear. And that's right, you'll just get a mirror, not a smart mirror. Avoid the two-way mirror film at all costs if you can, because it's blurry and it bubbles over time. Final step. Now you just plug a computer in. You need a computer so you can put that text on the display. The most popular option is a Raspberry Pi B+. I'm totally geeking out on it right now, especially if you go to magicmirror.builders. They do have a one line of code option where you can just put that one line of code in and suddenly you have the five basic widgets to display the time, the weather, inspirational quotes, stock market, but anyway, on magicmirror.builders, 
you can see all of the third-party modules. So people are contributing to this all the time. So it's constantly getting updated and you can add so much functionality to it. But you can also use an Android or a Windows Intel Compute Stick. It's really up to you. I know, I know there's a huge geek factor with the Raspberry Pis. Geek on, my friends. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below right now. Until next time, I'm Krista with 2 and I'm Audi 5000.